Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland, and you're looking at the Shack Audio Technologies Quad Version 2.0 DJing software. This is a competitor product to the Tractor Scratch and Serato products. If you go into your preferences here, you'll notice that it actually is set up to work with control vinyl. I don't believe they produce their own vinyl, but I, I'm pretty sure that you could use either tractor vinyl or Serato vinyl with this and then use your own uh, audio interface with your needles. It has the same readout here for whether or not you're getting a good or bad signal from your needles. Your audio interface can be set up here. On the Mac we have built-in audio as our default, although usually you'll be using some type of dual output interface, uh, much like some of the M-Audio interfaces, or you could even use an M-Box if you wanted to. Sample rate, we can go 48 thousand hertz or 44 one hertz audio buffer size set to one gig right now but you can go more or less just keep in mind that the uh, latency increases as you increase the buffer size so again keep that in mind when applying effects MIDI output we can assign any MIDI device we want uh, for controllers we have four deck inputs which can all be assigned to the various inputs on your interface. Our outputs are all set to output one and two, which are our left and right stereo channels. We have phones output and main output. Notice too, we can set the number of channels we have. These uh, would otherwise be known as decks in Tractor or Serato. Here we have two set up, but I can also go over to three or four. One of the unique features is the ability to only have three decks as opposed to having all four up at once which could be useful if you were running a beat loop or something on the third and then had two tracks on one and two but for now for demo's sake we're going to go over to two channels and get out of here the color selector allows you to uh, select the background color this is more of an aesthetic option that they offer and they have a variety of presets that you can set up and you can assign the color of all the various controller buttons within the program not really uh, anything about functionality when it comes to color but it's nice to have that option to customize the color of your entire screen if we exit that we exit preferences you'll notice at the bottom here it has several different windows that I can turn on and off we have our main controls crossfader loop sampler filter EQ player and channel I'm going to keep these all on because we'll be using all of these throughout the course of the tutorial. Now I'm going to go over to my volumes and load up some mp3s. I've got some uh, mp3s over in my admin folder. Pretty much take mp3s from anywhere including uh, WAV files as well. Again, please remember when you are DJing with any type of DJ software you really want to make sure that you have the highest resolution files you can use to get really good sound in a club. Now I'm going to take this track from the Black Ghosts and actually a remix by the Black or of the Black Ghosts by Fake Blood and drop them into my two players. Now to play a track you hit of all things the pause button and it turns into a play button. My level is right here and I can assign this to a crossfader. Right now nothing is assigned to the crossfader but I can throw this on number one here crossfade in and out. You can speed down or slow up your crossfader by using the fast, mid, and slow controls. I can also go to my various cue points by uh, using one through four here. Notice that at one, it switches over to control. I can rewind using the rewind button. And although right now we're in relative mode, you can also switch into absolute mode, which would be uh, for using control vinyl. You'll notice I can't scrub through my audio at all, but if I turn that off over to relative mode, I can scrub wherever I want. Now, unlike the similar programs like Serato and Tractor, one of the downfalls of this particular program is the fact that I cannot scrub when I'm zoomed in. Clicking with the right hand mouse and the left hand mouse zooms me in and out, but I cannot scrub. I can scrub in this part down here, but this really is not useful for scratching at all. So you're going to rely on this more as a playback device or get some control vinyl and then you'll have full control over it. 
Notice also I have the full gain for my uh, headphones right here if I let this play. Take that in and out. We also have a loop sampler. This is for looping bits of audio as you play. Turn the loop on and off. You can have two different cue points as well. And you can set different resolutions for these as well. And then use the adjust to slowly bring them closer and closer together. And then pull back out. And you can even go jump between these however you want. Well, that's the first intro to the Shack Audio Technologies Quad version 2.0. I'm going to come back in a little bit to walk you through the effects, filters, equalizer, and some of the other uh, more advanced features in this piece of software. But for now, I am Bill Holland, and you are watching GearWire.com. <laughs>